Well, as you can see, we're here inside a nearly empty Utah State Capitol. The building has been closed to the general public because of the concern for ongoing violent protests and COVID-19. But your elected lawmakers are still getting down to business. I would say that it's good to see your beautiful, smiling faces, but I'll settle for saying it's great to see you masked up. Lawmakers are required to take a rapid COVID test before they step foot on the House floor. Whose broad stripes and bright stars? The start of the 2021 legislature is very different from previous years. The pomp and ceremony has been replaced with plexiglass and handshake bands. The past 12 months have been unprecedented and historic. The Capitol is closed to the public for now out of concerns about COVID-19 spread and the potential for violent protests tied to the presidential inauguration. I call on protesters in the state and around the nation to practice their constitutional right in a peaceful and orderly manner. Abide by law and order. We will not tolerate violence and civil disorder. But lawmakers still have a lot to tackle with talk about infrastructure, tax and regulatory relief, policing reforms, and of course, responding to the pandemic and decisions made over the past year. During this session, let's provide clear direction on what constitutes an emergency, what authority that triggers, and how long it should last. No emergency should usurp the power of the people. It really is a weird session. Over the next 45 days, lawmakers will try to get through more than a thousand bills. I'd like to be able to have accomplished uh, as, as a body um, policies and appropriations that are going to help our working families to thrive. Now, coming up later in the week, Governor Spencer Cox will give his first State of the State address. We'll be up here on the Hill throughout the 2021 session, bringing you the latest on what your lawmakers are up to. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.